Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Now in this video, we are going to talk about difference between Flask as well as Django. Now these both are most popular Python web development framework. So if you are someone who has just completed Python and now interested to get into web development, you have multiple choices. Either you can work with Django or Flask or Bottle or Pyramid and there are other different framework. But there are two most popular as well as most used framework in the world of Python which is Django as well as Flask. Now before moving forward, let me give you a brief idea of what we are going to cover. So we will be talking about their big differences, we will be talking about when to use what, we will be talking about companies that prefer Django, companies that prefer Flask and their reason, we will be talking about a conclusion that what you should learn and some other framework that you can explore. Let me jump on to my first section which is big differences. So Flask is actually a minimalist framework. If I talk about its expansion, if I talk about its update, if I talk about how to start Flask, everything is so minimalist that you can start with one single file only. All you have to do is install Flask and with one single file without any structure, you can start your first web application. Whereas Django is a full fledged framework. That means it follows a structure, it follows certain integration, it follows certain app system and there are a lot more complication. Because Django is a full fledged framework, it has to follow a certain structure for development community. So now this is the first big difference which is this one is a full fledged framework, this one is a micro framework, it follows a proper structure whereas in Flask we don't actually have a structure. The second thing is data modeling. So in Django we follow its own ORM that is quite useful and it's quite quick. Whereas in Flask we can either use MongoDB engine, we can use other SQL engines and lot more. So this one can be proved an advantage for you if you want to build a small application with MongoDB database that is no SQL. Now the next thing I want to talk about is the support system, long run updates and what are the future planning for both application that is both framework. Here I would strongly recommend Django. Since Django is a full fledged framework, they have a proper planning for different version. You can see their long term support, you can see their current versions, how they are going to update and a proper path till 2023. Which is quite beneficial for you if you are interested to get into full fledged Django development. Whereas with Flask you are not going to see this type of support because Again Django is a big framework, Django is quite heavy whereas Flask is a minimalist framework. Now this point is quite important for different development community because the reason is Flask offered too less whereas Django offered too much. Now the question arises when should you prefer Django and when should you work with Flask. So the simple clear cut answer is. If you are working on a big long term project, if you know that you are going to integrate lot of other files, if you know that you are going to need community support, you are going to work with different versions, then I strongly recommend to prefer Django. It's a proper full developed framework which has lot of other application, big application running over it. And I strongly recommend Django at this point of time. Or if you are someone who want to build a quick application and want a small easy to go application, then I am going to prefer Flask. Now here I really want to tell you one small point that companies usually prefer Django if they are going to build a long term application. The thing is Django follows a proper structure. For each and everything there is a structure, we have a documentation that we need to follow. Also the framework has matured very well. So if they are going to hire a new developer, if they are going to work with their old code source, they already know a structure is going to follow. So if I talk about 10 Django projects, all of them going to follow a same type of structure. So if you are a new developer, if you are going to work with Django project 1, Django project 2 or Django project 3, you will be easily able to catch them up because all of them follow a similar structure. That's the reason why company follows the Django framework. Or if you are someone who want to experiment with NoSQL database, Maybe you want to build a static website, I strongly recommend to go with Flask. Now here again the question arises, which company prefer Django and which company prefer Flask. Before I show you the logo, before I talk about the company names, 
I strongly want to tell you that they have their own use cases and some company use Flask just for a small part, some company use Django for a bigger picture. So they are equally good. Don't judge them on a company basis. Now Django is currently used by Instagram, Pinterest, Spotify, Coursera and lot other big companies. And also Flask is currently used by Netflix, Lyft and lot other. So they are equally good. The thing is you have to check your own areas like if you are living in Bangalore, maybe you are living in Silicon Valley, maybe any other state, any other city, you have to check the job opportunities. Here if I talk about opportunities in India. With big cities like Hyderabad, Bangalore, Chennai, Pune, chances are you will get many more opportunities with Django. Whereas if I talk about Flask, there is a certain section of companies that prefer Flask. So you have to check this point on your own according to your region. Now let us talk about final verdict. Which one should you prefer? Should you learn Django or should you learn Flask? My simple answer is learn Django. You will learn a lot about structure, you will learn a lot about app sequences, you will learn a lot about integration. Also Django has by default admin panel that will give you a big support. And the other thing is you will learn a lot about model view template. So this is MBT architecture and Django follows it pretty well. So this is the biggest advantage of Django. Once you complete learning of Django curve. I strongly recommend to spend at least one or two weeks to work with Flask. So this will give you a basic idea how the Flask framework works and then you have some understanding and then you have big understanding of Django and some understanding of Flask so you can work with any one of them. The next point before you take your final decision, if you are someone who is proper Python beginner and have no knowledge with projects, I strongly recommend to go with Flask. Otherwise, if you are someone who has already done certain small projects with Python and have good command with Python, then go with Django. Because Django is a brick framework, you require certain Python knowledge, you require command over Python. So that's all for this video. So that's all for this comparison. There are other Python framework that you should explore like Cherry Pie, Pyramid, Bottle. It doesn't matter if you are going to code with them or not, but at least read about them. They have their certain use cases and they are used for specific task only. Thank you for watching. If you are new to programming and want to learn Django, Flask, maybe data structures and algorithm, different Python projects, then don't forget to check out unwildlearning.com where I have my complete course series with Python roadmap. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to click on that like button, click on that subscribe button and comment if you have any doubt. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at shubham.ul where I usually do Q&A with computer science student as well as programming doubts. Thank you for following this video. See you in the next one.